Alrighty guys, welcome to my channel. I'm making another tutorial. Today I'm going to make a tutorial for Carbide Create for um, putting text together, for unionizing text like a welcome sign or a home sign. Um, I'm going to show you how to weld them together if my dog leaves me alone. Okay, so we need to go here. Let's, okay, let's open up Carbide Create. And view, reset view, and give us a big now. Go to the text tool, put in the text you want, we'll put simple welcome sign, welcome, and pick a font. Fonts are all going to be different depending on your computer, it depends on what fonts you have uh, installed in your computer. I have like 60,000 fonts available to me, I just added a few that I thought I might need. I'm looking for something that'll anyway, that might weld together. No. I need to get a better one than that. Uh, the hardest part is looking for yeah, that's not gonna work. Looking for a good font. Unless you use the same font all the time. Looks good, but it's a little thin for cutting. But maybe for Bradley. No. Well, I'm going to fast forward till I find a font that I want to use. Well, that'll work, I guess. Go to the sizing tool. Size that up like that. Okay, now what we're going to do, you click the text, <clears throat> and you come over here to the side, the offset path. You click the offset path, and you leave the distance 0 0.01, and you want to go outside. If you go inside, you're going to keep all these little connectors you don't want that I'm gonna go inside that so we want to go outside we're gonna trace the whole outside So click apply then before you do anything else you come over here and you weld it together or group it you group it over here then what you do is just grab anywhere and move it up or out of the way or down or sideways whatever you want to do Okay, click anywhere to deselect, then you select the original text and you delete that. You don't need that anymore. Then you highlight the new text, bring it down. Now we need to get rid of these small little, oops, to get rid of them well, first. Select the text, you ungroup, you click anywhere, and then you click these little pieces and you highlight them and click delete or backspace. Now I'm using a, a PC, I don't know how it would work on a Mac. Okay, then in this case, we need to bring the W con and connect it to the E. So we'll just drag that over here. We can connect it like that. Or we can go over here to the sizing tool and we can make it bigger like that. Click done and then click it and drag it. Like that. That looks good. Then you deselect it by clicking anywhere 
Then you highlight the whole thing again and you do the same thing. You go over here to the offset path tool, click it. Again, you leave it at 0 0.01 outside. You want to go outside. You want to weld the outside together. Click apply. Then again, you group them all together over here on the side. You grab it anywhere and pull it out of the way. Resize that. Then you deselect it and you select the previous one and delete that. Then you go and select the new one, drag it down, and you're all set. See, everything is welded together. Nice and smooth. See where the here, 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 and here. Everything is connected really nice. So then again, you can click that, go to the sizing tool, and you can make it as big or as small as you need. Like that, over. And then you can go up to your tool paths. You can click this. And click the outside. Contour. You choose uh, 1 8 inch end mill in my case. Deselect set speeds automatically. Depth per pass. I like to go 0.05 to 0.06. Feed rate can go 95, plunge rate can do 70, for softwood, this is for softwood, click OK, now this is a cutout, so this stock is 3 quarters of an inch thick, so it's 0.75, but what I like to do is I highlight this, I go 0.751. here we go outside we cut outside see that way it cuts on the outside we get nice clean cuts in here and then edit tabs we're going to put tabs in here because we don't want the piece to break or fly off i like to go 0.3 on the width and the height i leave the same then I just stick tabs in here. Put one there, put one there, one here, here, here. Just randomly put them where you think you need them. Here, inside here, here. That's good for display purposes. And click OK. And then you can name it. Name it cutout. But the eighth inch is the 125. And OK. Now we need to get these smaller ones cut out here in the middle. So you highlight those. Now I I press control and click. Keep the control key down and click everything to highlight it. Then you go up here to contour. Let's see if... Yeah, the eighth inch might work. So then edit. Click edit, but... Because we have to edit the uh, depth per pass and the feed rate and the plunge rate. Like we did last time. To 95, this one 75, soft wood. Again, this, the max depth we want to cut all the way in 0.71. And you can go no offset to get a bigger cut like that. I'm going to cut it out bigger. Or let's see what pocket. Pocket that out, and then you won't you won't need tabs. 
and just pocket it out. Easy. Easy peasy. And you can name this Pocket Pass Quarter Inch. Okay. And now we can take a look at it. Show simulation. Go to Pine. We don't need to show the tool path and we don't need to show rapids. And click simulation. And there you have it. We have the W P L C O N N E. See how it looks it looks good. The holes aren't too close to this where it might crack. And if 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 at first you have some cracking in here, the wood breaks or something, slow down the speed. That's all. Just slow the speed down to cut through here. There's no hurry to cut through this anyway. I just... I just have the... Let me pocket pass here. Yeah. I just have the speed set high because it's soft wood and... And, well, that's what I always do anyway for soft wood. I never have a problem, but if it... Like I said, if at these speeds, the speed rate, 95, you can always slow it down because it's not going to take long to cut through there. It's only four minutes this way. So what if it takes you eight or ten minutes to cut in through, th through here? You want clean cuts. So that's the basics on how to weld your text together. And that's it for this tutorial. Now, if you guys want to see some other tutorials, um, comment below. Let me know exactly what you want to see. Um, I design offline. I, I mean, I design on my website for people all over America. Um, so I have some experience. If you want to see anything specific, uh, please comment below and I'll see what I can do. Alright, till the next one. See you later.